Well, good morning, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It's the 14th of December, day 272 remote. Uh, if you like countdowns, 10 days, 13 hours, 30 minutes until Christmas. So that's a triple yikes for me. It's a winter wonderland outside our studios here today, about an inch of snow already. Um, this is not the big main event. Uh, you're probably hearing headline news of a, a major potential blizzard uh, impacting the mid-Atlantic Northeast here midweek. And so we thought we'd show those first here. So minor system here today, unrelated to the midweek system. And then as we get into Wednesday, ending 7 o'clock, we start to see that system developing in the mid-Atlantic. And then the big event is Wednesday night, uh, Wednesday afternoon into about Thursday afternoon. A good 12 to 18 inches, say, from central uh, Pennsylvania, Harrisburg, through right through our studios here, Lehigh Valley of Eastern PA, northern New Jersey into southwest Connecticut. Models have been hinting at this for eight days, and they've all been pretty consistent. Um, so we'll see. It's definitely looking like a high-confident event here. Of uh, Again, a good 12 to 18 inches. Some models had said as high as 20 to 25 inches of snow, maybe in the very highest of elevations here, but um, certainly a good confidence on a 12 to 18 event. We'll talk about how this was even possible here. Um, go through these here through the weekend, not much. Uh, run through the maps one more time here. So how can you get a, a big blizzard midweek when Canada was wall-to-wall -wall hot? Um, and we'll talk about how that how this happened because it took a kind of a perfect set of scenarios here for this uh, potential storm to even materialize. Looking at the U.S. seasonal snowfall here first, uh, 1 September through 13 December, we're down 42% nationally versus last year, which again was the most in 19 years at this point, 45% above average last year nationally. Um, so again, right now we're about 16% below average. Uh, we'll add to that here with the big storm midweek, but uh, still probably going to be trending below average nationally. Looking at this uh, map here, this is the National Weather Service official forecast. Uh, so they again, got that dark orange there is 12 to 18, and the reds are uh, upwards of 18 to 24 inches. So this is the Wednesday-Thursday event. Looking at last week, first here, 6 through 12 December, um, these are mean temperatures versus last year on a National Retail Federation calendar. Again, so look at all that Canada. Just 14.2 uh, degrees hotter than last year, warmest in five years. So wall-to-wall, coast-to-coast uh, heat there, and yet we're getting a big cold blizzard here. Um, so... What actually happened is you see all that really cold weather there in Alaska. Took a perfect scenario of a high pressure ridge and a storm system to capture and basically suck that cold air out of Alaska, sending it shooting across the southern tier of the U.S. right into the east here this week. So it kind of did an end around, if you will, uh, around Canada. Um, so again, the source region for this did not come out of Canada. It was more out of Alaska. U.S. overall here last week, 2.2 degrees warmer than last year, warmest in five years, 11th warmest in 35 years, so above average temperatures, 68% drier than last year, at least in 14 years, so well below average on that front, and again, 45% less snowfall than last year, 10th least in 35 years. Um, looking around the world here, Europe's cooled off, coolest in eight, uh, Russia coolest in four, uh, China a little bit cooler than last year, well, Australia coldest in three, India about the warmest in five, and then Brazil about a degree cooler, coolest in 24 years. Uh, maps inset left there are global trends versus a average. Looking at this week, again, the third week here of December, um, 14 through 20 December, 1.3 is warmer than last year, 17th warmest in 35 years uh, average. But uh, notice again, way above average in the north and below average in the south. So again, that cold air across Alaska got uh, pushed all across the southern tier of the country here. And so it took a perfect set of scenarios here to position this uh, storm system here midweek. Um, Maps left here are uh, precip trends, dry in three, 17th dry in 35 years, so average on a national scale. Uh, that snowfall trend there is probably a little too far south, but again, probably more toward the Harrisburg to uh, north of New York City, southwest Connecticut uh, regions. Snowfall nationally be about 68% more than a year ago, and most in four years, 13th most in 35 years. So this is a great week for some winter seasonal merchandise sales and snow accessory sales. Uh, so again, much needed for the, the retail folks out there. Next week, again, Christmas week, um, 21 through 27 December here. Again, big warm-up. Um, there's no real cold there there in Canada. So, again, we're going to a quick four-day hit here of cold and snow and then uh, back to much above average temperatures. Still about 2.7 degrees colder than last year, so some uplift in seasonal sales versus last year, but still eighth warmest in 35 years, so above average. What is in five years, third what is in 35 years, we'll see here. There's another potential big uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day event. Uh, so right now it looks like the East Coast would be on the warm side of that, uh, but inland Great Lakes may actually be on the cold side of that. So we'll see where the snow sets up, but uh, more likely to be the, the Great Lakes, um, lake effects, and uh, higher elevation of New England next week. So we'll say snow falls up 144% more than last year, uh, but that's still seventh least in 35 years on a national scale below average. 
looking at uh, these trends here, temperature trends, a uh, chart left is versus average, a uh, chart right is versus last year. So again, a four or five day cold snap here after the, the big warm week last week. Um, but then it looks like we're headed toward another big warm, uh, warm up uh, nationwide here as we get into next week. So again, um, good, good seasonal sales surge here right now, and uh, we'll take it. And then uh, again, a warming trend, and then maybe cooling off again as we get into late December, January timeframe. Aggregating these trends over the two-week period, again, uh, up and down in the U.S., uh, starting to see some colder trends there in uh, northern Canada. Uh, Europe, a big warm-up after some cold trends here, uh, a big warm-up. Uh, Russia still on the colder side, again, um, for, for most of Russia, not in the southwest. And um, again, warming up in Brazil as well. Preset map, uh, inset left there is versus average. We have a guy in our office here. Uh, I won't name him just yet here, but uh, if you ever need something, you need an excavator, an electrician, a plumber, his, his line is, I know a guy. He's really good. Um, so he always knows somebody. I've already taken the little Angelina Kirk to uh, every major light display here in the east. Um, Longwood Gardens, Lehigh Valley Parkway, the zoo, you name it. So I said, you know, hey, Billy, I need lights, a lot of lights to take the little one this weekend. And uh, did he come through? For sure. So this is Christmas Village here in eastern PA. It was actually spectacular. And the um, sunset was actually spectacular to boot. Uh, so again, Billy Dunn happens to be our president. If ever you need a guy or gal, uh, he's your guy. He knows everybody. So uh, thank you, Billy Dunn. Uh, this was, uh, again, a spectacular display and sunset and um, just had a great time. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week. Uh, enjoy the snow uh, here in the east, and we will be back here this time next week.